Hi 340 students, welcome to your week 8 study skills project video. This week is all about video presentation skills and you're lucky because I make a lot of videos so I think I have some advice for you. So in this lesson you're going to learn about the features of a good video presentation. You're also going to learn about the project marking rubric so you know how to get a good grade on your project. You want to make sure that you get the best grade that you can. Here's where we are on the project. We're at number nine, present your destination. We're going to do this in small steps because there are 30 marks for this. It's a big part of your grade. So you're gonna learn how to present, you're gonna practice presenting, you're gonna get some feedback from your classmates, and then you're gonna do your final presentation and you will be ready for that. Do you feel like this when you have to do a presentation in front of your classmates? It makes most people pretty nervous to give presentations. You wanna learn how to feel like this though. And on video, you can control how you look and sound, so it's actually a little easier than face-to-face. -face. Um, you can film it again and again until your, your final video is perfect. So here are some tips. I've got nine tips for you. The first five tips are just general presentation tips. The last four tips are specific video tips because this is a video project. Here's tip number one. Talk, don't read. Reading your presentation is so boring. No one wants to hear you do that. Um, you can use notes with main ideas and those will help you remember what you need to say. But you did all the research, you have all the information, make sure that you're communicating your information to your audience, not reading it. Also, don't memorize your presentation. Students often want to avoid mistakes by writing everything, memorizing, and then just talking from their memories. But this actually makes your presentation more boring and difficult to understand. And then in the middle, if you forget something, <gasps> you freeze and you can't continue. So please just use key keywords and main ideas to help you go through your presentation. You have all the information, use it. Tip number two is learn how to pronounce it. You did the research, you know the words that you need to use. Use Google Translate or Google how do you pronounce and the word to help you learn how to pronounce it. Make sure you pronounce everything correctly. And you can use your voices speech to text. Um, you can talk to your phone. If your phone can understand you and it types it correctly, then probably you're pronouncing it well. Tip number three, practice, practice, practice. You need to practice a lot. Practice, then video yourself. Watch your video. What do you need to improve? Your look, your sound, your grammar, your vocabulary, your organization. Video it again and keep going until you get a perfect product. Tip number four is use good body language. The better your body language, the more natural and confident you will feel. If you have good body language, it will make you feel more comfortable doing your presentation. You need to look at the camera. You need to stand up. Sitting down, people usually feel like this and it doesn't look as strong and confident. So if you stand up to do your presentation, you will feel more confident. You need to smile. If you smile, you'll feel more relaxed. And you can use hand gestures, but make sure that they're close to your close to your face in the frame because if you gesture out here then people won't see it. Tip number five, breathe and move. If you feel nervous, try these methods to help you relax. Take some deep breaths and shake out your hands, go for a walk, get some movement that will get out some of your nervous energy. Drink some water, that will also help you relax a bit. The more relaxed you feel, the better your presentation is. Tip number six, this is a specific video tip. Control the lighting. Make sure your lighting is coming at your face, not from the side, not from the back. If it's coming from the back, your face will be dark and we can't see you. Coming from the front is best. It makes you look best, but also then we can see your face well. Tip number seven, control your background. What's behind you is what we will see. Make sure that it's what you want us to see. So here I've got a map, that's fine. It's not that interesting. Um, so it's not distracting, um, but it's interesting enough to kind of keep your attention. Make sure and control what's in your background. You don't want people moving around or, or anything that's going to bother people watching. Tip number eight is to control the sound. Test your setup. Do a few test videos. If you can hear your voice really clearly, fine. But maybe you need to use a microphone. Test it with a microphone, see if the sound is better. Um, right now I'm using my laptop sound and it's better than my microphone sound. If you're using a microphone, make sure that you're close to your microphone. If you're close to your microphone, the sound is much better than far away. Tip number nine, 
is to get a good shot. You're using a phone or a laptop. If you're using a phone, ask someone to hold it for you. That will make your life a little bit easier. And if they're holding it, make sure they're holding it at eye level, not down here, not up here. Just straight at eye level gives you the best video. This is the same on a laptop. Your eye level and the camera should be the same. If it's down here, then whoop, we're looking up your nose. We don't really want to do that. And if it's looking down, it makes you look like a small child. So if we can see the ceiling, your camera is too low facing high, uh, make sure that your camera is at eye level. That's it for my video tips. Let's take a look at the rubric. Here on the rubric, you want to focus on the three and the four. You're probably not interested in getting a one or a two. So let's take a look at the three and the four. We're looking at organization, content, presentation skills, speaking skills, language, and time management. For organization, you wanna make sure that you've got a good intro, body, conclusion, and you're using good organizational language. For content, you wanna make sure you've got interesting ideas, a good balance of details and main ideas, and it's interesting and there's enough information. For presentation skills, you wanna make sure that you're actually talking to your audience, not reading, not memorizing. It should sound natural and comfortable, good body language, everything should seem very professional. For speaking skills, you wanna make sure that it's not too quiet or too loud, and you're using a natural voice and with good pronunciation. And for language, you wanna make sure that you have good control of your 340 grammar and vocabulary, both. Um, for a four, you will be using some more complicated, um, higher level grammar and vocabulary. And for time management, you wanna make sure that you finish in your three to five minute window. Um, if you, want a four, you need to make sure that all of the time of the parts are well balanced. So you've got a good sized introduction, body and conclusion. They're not too much or too little. Now it's your turn. For your homework, you're going to complete your Google slide presentations. Those should be about done. You might need to make some changes. You need to practice your video presentation. You can practice it with or without camera, but make sure that you do some filming as well. The filming will help you see how it's going to look in the final version. Then film it a few times, choose the best one, and you're going to share that with your classmates to get some feedback on. That will be the point when you do, do your final video and your final video will be much better for having done a lot of practice beforehand. If you have any questions, make sure and ask your teachers. Teachers are professional speakers. We speak in front of classes all the time. I'm sure that your teacher can give you some tips and advice. Have a great week. Good luck on your practices. Make sure you're doing some video. Use the tips here to make sure that your video is great. And I'm looking forward to seeing some final videos. Have a great week. Bye guys.